every athlete works hard, but you really didn't have any breaks to get onto the team. I mean, you really worked your way onto the 96 Olympic team. Yeah, I tell people, you know, Olympic dreams aren't always built on six-figure income sponsorships and things like that. Um, I was working full-time in the automotive industry. I'd go to the assembly plant every day, and the luxury car lines where we made the instrument panels for the Mark 8, the Crown Vic, Town Car, and I'd have to check on all the lines and make sure the quality of the parts I was in charge of was running well. And these guys on the assembly line, they were the ones who said, don't you have to go to swim practice at three? <laughs> if, some, if there was some issue with the quality as the line was running, they're like, hey, we'll cover for you. Go to practice and you, you know, get back here at six o'clock tonight because we have a few things to address. But I say Olympic dreams are, are fueled by the most unlikely of people. You know, these guys on the assembly line became, became my sort of sponsors in a way, in spirit. It was really cool. You were sponsored by Detroit. Yeah, the That's people awesome. of Detroit, in a way. 